how important is it for us to deal with intergenerational blockages? So part of the question would be, is it possible that we have inherited invisible something? Whether we think of it as biology, whether we think of it, you know, genetics, or whether we think of it as some kind of weird psychology, or whether we think of it as completely spiritual, and therefore invisible, or whether we think of it as patterns of behavior, psychology. We're asking the question, could we have inherited in some form or fashion some qualitative reality in our lives that would in some way impede or prevent us from our natural unfolding of our true self, our true potentials, our true powers as human beings. Question not asked too often. And as a psychotherapist, as well as a yogi, but as a psychotherapist, it's a question that I'm very familiar with and very close to. Because once people get to these blockages, of course, most people are going to do everything they can to improve. Just naturally, they're going to do that. And they find themselves going around and around and around. And they keep coming to the same place and unable to move forward to the next level. And most of the time, this is due to some type of unconscious or invisible blockage that we could call psychological. And invariably, they will see that they are repeating the patterns of their parents, invariably. Now, we can argue that this pattern could be learned, and some of it is learned. But we can also see, in looking at the pattern in the family tradition, that there's more to this than simply learn, because many times we, we finally see what the pattern is, we can go back for these four generations, that that, that person was learned. So, whether there can be blockages that are intergenerational for whatever reason, that is an obvious yes. Now, what is that and how does it work? This is tied to the next question. They're related. And that has to do with understanding what is DNA. Now, my understanding of what is DNA is a spiritual concept, not purely a biological concept. So, because Western science denies the reality of spirit, doesn't research spirit, doesn't accept spirit as a construct, there's not a lot of research that would demonstrate the spirit behind it. Whereas we can look at biology, we can look at form, structure, we can say, does this structure show up or doesn't it, etc. But I would say inheritance is more like we can look at a tree and see every aspect of the tree. And indeed, the tree's potential to generate more trees through seeding. Yet if we take the seed, and I'm just talking physical now, if we take that seed, we cannot see the tree or the other seeds in the seed. We only get markers telling us of a certain biological pattern that will likely unfold, but we don't actually see what creates the tree what creates the seeds that come from the tree, from the fruits of the tree, etc. The actual program of DNA, the pattern, is invisible. It's not visible. So that 
this is why we can see, we do see this in families. Well, we may have a family where, for several generations, let's say they were, they were fishermen. And then you get a new generation comes along and they don't live near the water. And you see no fishermen in that family. So they live far, far away from the water. Not interested in fishing, don't think about fishing. Then they have children. And their children tell them, I don't know why, but I just feel like I gotta be around water. And so they move near the water and then they become fishermen. So you see, even though it didn't show up, the patterns of behavior, not just behavior, but actual memory, is inherited. Now, these memories and these patterns can uplift the person. So this is one good reason why we want to know what these patterns are. In other words, the human powers, like the power to be a good fisherman, I came from a family of musicians, artists, and teachers. I said I would never be a teacher. <laughs> but life is bigger than that. Life is bigger than my little frail wants, likes, and dislikes. You see, being a teacher is a part of my DNA pattern. And even though I claim at 15 or 16, I forget where it was, watching my mother work hard as a teacher on weekends, and I thought, that's just too much work, I'm not gonna be a teacher. Life claimed me and said, no, your pattern is to be a teacher. And so, by default, I became a teacher. What is that that was born with me when I was born that brought me to a point of recognizing my true purpose my true destiny, my true power as a human being, my true gift, what I was supposed to do when I was here, even though I rejected it outright early on in my life. So it's in the generational patterns, it's powers that we are interested in finding out about. What are the powers that have come through my family line? However, what we're dealing with Disrupted family lineage on planet Earth, especially among the non white population. So, those of us who are, we say African in America or African American, we are from disrupted family lines. We do not often have very much information about our original, our origins, you know, our, our expressions of our DNA and our earlier uh, expressions in our, in our homelands, etc. And so, part of our discovery is discovering who am I, not just simply who am I in the form as this person, but who am I at the level of spiritual reality, which is potency, which is energy, which is all possibilities, who am I? And if we don't investigate that, what has to happen is the way in which this dysregulation is taking place, usually traumatic, usually through some type of trauma, the way in which this has happened, that memory, that knowledge base, and those reactions to all of that disruption, that's inherited from generation to generation. Each generation is brought here, is born into a context to solve that problem to get back to our true expression as we are divinely created. And so, perfect example, I see this a lot in my work. I remember early on I started to notice this. One day, I had eight clients, psychotherapy clients. They were all female. At one clinic, all eight of these women all had a history of being abused women who chose alcoholic men. All eight of them. By the end of the day, I felt completely wasted trying to get at the bottom of what in the world 
cause you to seek out. Of course, the person doesn't think that they're seeking it out. They think they're looking at something else. Oh, I thought he was cute, or oh, he was funny, or you know, they have their own idea of what it is they think they seek out. Nevertheless, we keep seeing this pattern repeated and repeated. And I realize this is a family pattern. It's not that person. It's a family pattern. Why do you end up with the wrong people? Because you are acting out the dysregulation, the disrupted DNA pattern. And it's your job to show up on the front line when the gun goes off, bang, you're home. And it's now your time to run, I, I call it like the baton, you know, like your parents did the best that they could. They tried to understand this life. A lot of things were left unanswered and they passed the baton, okay, your turn. Now it's time for you to try to clean up the mess that's been left. And until you do that, until you face that, you're not going to be able to get in touch with your true potentials. And indeed, I would argue you're not actually growing spiritual. Any questions?